In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the new party circle bracelet using the rainbow loom. So you want to have your pins set up in a staggered position so they are not in line with one another and you want the arrows to be facing towards you so that all of the opened ends are facing you. You will need about 110 rubber bands to make this bracelet. So I have chosen black for my outside color and then I have rainbow neon colors for the circles. So we're only going to be working with three pins on the loom in the shape of a triangle. So it doesn't really matter where on the loom you place it, but I am going to start on the third pin up on the right hand side of the loom. And I'm going to work with these three pins. So I'm going to start with my outside color, which is black. And it's going to go from this third pin up on the right hand side, diagonally up and to the left, into that middle row, and it's going to twist. I'm going to push that down. And now the next band is going to go from that center pin, diagonally up and to the right, and twist. And now I am going to put a second layer of black on. So it's going to follow the same pattern. I'm starting on the pin closest to me on the right and going diagonally into the middle. And then from the middle, I'm coming diagonally back to the right and there's no need to twist anymore. And now that I have these two layers on, I'm going to remove the bottom layer. So I'm going to take the bottom rubber band and get it on my hook, pull it over the top and into the middle. And now on the next pin up, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm taking the bottom band, pulling it over the top and into the center. And then I'm going to flip to the other side. And this time I'm going to have the bottom two rubber bands. So I'm just going to take them both at once, pull them over the top and into the middle. And then I'm going to push all of this down. And so now you have a choice of whether you want to double or triple your circle bands. So I will show you what it will look like when it's done. In this bracelet, I doubled the bands. So you can see the size of the circles. And then in this bracelet, I tripled the bands. So you can see that they're smaller. I'll show you the two next to each other. So if you decide to triple the bands, the only thing is it might make it a little bit more difficult to get the lower band to come up through that circle because it's going to be tighter on the loom. So for this video, I'm just going to double the circles. So that's the next layer we're putting on. So I'm going to take pink and I'm going to put it on the right hand side on the pin closest to me. And in order to double the band, I'm just going to place it on the pin. I'm going to twist and then just put that circle back on the loom. And now I'm going to take my next color, which is orange, and this time it's going to go on the pin in the center. So I'm just placing this on the pin, twisting and putting it back on. And now I'll take my third color, which is yellow, and this is going to go on the top pin on the right. And again, I'm just going to double this band. Now if you want, you can twist the band around your finger to double it, or you can do it on your hook. So whichever method you prefer. And now I'm going to put another layer of black on. So again, I'm always starting on this pin on the right that's closest to me and going into the middle. And then from there, I'm coming back to the right. And now that I have these three layers on, I want to remove this bottom black band. But I don't want to just grab it and pull it over the top. What I want is to pull it up through the circle band. So at the top here we have a black band. We're not doing anything with this upper band. And so now what I want to do is take my hook, go down through these pink bands, get them behind my hook. I'm grabbing the bottom black band, pulling it up through, over the top, and into the middle. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the yellow band. I'm not doing anything with this top black band. And I'm going 
down through getting these yellow bands behind my hook, picking up this black band, pulling it up through and into the middle. And now I actually want the circle bands to come off as well. So I'm going to grab both of these pink bands and pull them over the top and into the center. And then the same thing for the two yellow, both at once. And now I will flip to the other side and I'll do the orange. So this time we have two black bands on the top and two on the bottom. So again, I'm not doing anything with the top two. So I'm getting the back of my hook, pushing back on the next two, this orange circle band, getting both of those behind my hook. Now I'm picking up the bottom two black. They're going to come up through and into the middle. And now I want the two orange bands to come off as well. So I'm grabbing both of those and pulling them into the center. And now I'm going to push all of this down. So if you have a rainbow loom, your bracelet can grow right out through the open area in between the pins. But if you have another brand of loom that has a solid base, you're going to have to get your bracelet to grow out in between these two pins on the right side of the loom. And so now I'm going to put on the next layer, which again is going to be black. So starting on this bottom right pin, and then coming back. And now I want to remove the bottom black layer. So I have one band from the right side. Each of these pins will have one band. And then on the left side, I'm having the bottom two coming over the top and into the middle and push that down. And now I'm ready to add the circles again. So now I'm going to add green on this first pin. So I'm just twisting and putting it back on to double it. And now I'll go to blue for the pin in the middle. And then finally I have purple for the one at the top. And every time I put a circle layer on, I always have to have a black layer on top. So that's my next layer. So again, I'm just following the same pattern. And now that I have these three layers on, again, I want the bottom black bands to come off, but they need to go up through the circle bands. So once again, I'm ignoring this top black band, getting the two green bands to go behind my hook. Grabbing the bottom black, it's going to come up through the green and then into the middle. And now the same thing again for the purple. I'm not doing anything with the top. I want the two purple bands to get behind my hook. Grab that bottom black, it's going to come up through and into the middle. And now I'm going to remove the circle bands so I have the two green to come off and then the two purple. And now on the other side, I have the two black bands this time that I want to come up through the blue. So I'm getting these blue behind my hook, grabbing the bottom two, they're going into the center. And now also the two blue will come over. Just make sure that these upper bands are not coming off as you're pulling the lower bands over. And now I'm going to push all of this down. And now I'm going to add a layer of black. And then I want to remove the bottom layer. So it's going to be that one band on each of the pins on the right. And then it's going to be two bands from the left and push down. And now I'm ready to add my next layer of circles. So I'm going to start back over with pink. And now orange for the center. And then yellow 
for the top. And now I'm going to put that next layer of black on top of the circles. And now I want these bottom black bands to come up through. So I'm pushing back on the pink and getting that black to come through. Again, I'm just going to get the circle band behind my hook and pull up the black through and now the circle bands will come off and now the same thing on this side I'm getting the two orange bands behind my hook getting the bottom two black to come up through and then also the two orange are now going to come off and push this down and now I'm going to add the next layer of black. And I'll remove the bottom layer. And I have two from the left side here. And now my next layer of circles. And now the black layer on top. And then once again, I'm getting this black band at the bottom to come up through just the circles. And then I want the circle bands to come off also. And now the same thing on the other side here. The two black bands at the bottom are coming up through. And then the circles. And push that down. So I'm just going to keep repeating the same pattern. The next layer will be just the two black and then the bottom layer will come off and then after that will come all of the circles with another layer of black on top of that and then the bottom bands will come up through the circles and over the top. So I will fast forward here. When you have your bracelet to the length that you'd like it and you're ready to take it off of the loom, you want to make sure that the last layer that you placed on is the two straight bands because you don't want the circles to be on top. And now you want to take the band that is on the pin that's closest to you on the right hand side and move that into the center. And then you're going to take the other band that's on the right hand side and move that into the center. And so now you have all four bands on one pin and we're going to take the bottom two bands and pull them over the top. So now there's just these two bands left. I'm going to pick them up on my hook and I can pull this out of here. And now I'm going to take a clip. I have an S clip here and I'm just going to hook these two bands through the one side. And then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to hook the clip through the bands on the end over here. And then here is my bracelet. So if you want, you can adjust the circles. Sometimes they get a little bit pulled farther on one side than the other. So you can just take a minute and adjust those until you get them how you want them. And then here's what it looks like on the one side. And then here is what it looks like on the reverse. And I've already shown you some of the other ones that I've done. 
This is one that I made with the rainbow color jelly bands for the circles and white for the outside. And then here's the other one that I used red, white, and blue bands. And these circles I had tripled. And then I have the clear bands for the outside. So this is the party circle bracelet and I hope that everyone had fun making it. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!